check it. All right, what's up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we look at AMC and GME and SPY. I give you a weekly prediction and update for the week. Are we gonna get a red or green weekly candle? Based off the technicals and fundamentals, we look at that for AMC, GME, and SPY, and then we will revisit it at the end of the week. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop into the charts, the facts, the data. Let's go. All right, welcome back to another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're gonna look at, at SPY, AMC, and GME. This is the time of the week where I give you your weekly prediction and update on what I think the weekly candles are gonna be for AMC, GME, and SPY. This is gonna absolutely be shocking, these predictions that I do have for you, but they are based off a of technical analysis. I'm gonna give you the prediction on each one of these assets and explain why I think that. So let's go ahead and start off with SPY, showing you SPY. I did get the weekly candle prediction right last week. I will start putting the receipts on the video, but you guys can check it out. I posted it last weekend where I give you guys my weekly prediction and update on every single weekend. So go ahead and check that video out if you want to. But I did predict green week for AMC, GME, and SPY. Again, I'll start putting the receipts on there, but I did get these predictions accurate. And you guys can check that out for yourself. Receipts are on the channel. I'll start putting them on the video so you guys can see them right here in real time. Let's go ahead and show you what we're looking at for SPY. So SPY, I am thinking we are going to have a bearish week. I do think we're going to have a bearish week for SPY. I think we're going to be printing a red weekly candle, and let me explain why. So the first thing we're seeing as SPY is outside of the Bollinger Bands. We are seeing a market-wide short squeeze as SPY keeps gapping up. It's also outside of the Bollinger Bands, using them as support. This is all evidence of a squeeze-type move. These gaps being outside of the bands, this rapid expansion to the upside. What happens after a rapid expansion to the upside? You normally have a big downside move, and that's what I'm expecting from SPY. I do think we hit the top at this 451 region. The highest I could possibly see SPY going is about 455, 453 in that range, and then having major pullback and capitulation to the downside. So let me explain why I do think we are going to see downside. If we do not hold this level of 449, you're going to see SPY start to move to the downside hard. So I do think we're going to hold this level actually and have a bullish day on Tuesday and Monday and Tuesday, and then start to see downside in the later half of the week, hitting our head on about 453. So I do think we're going to top out at about 453, hitting our head on that and start moving to the downside, filling these gaps at 446 and 442, retesting this major support and resistance. Now, if this major support and resistance marked here in yellow is broken, you're going to see SPY start to move down even more and probably fill these lower gap fills down here that we do have on the daily time frame. So SPY is going to see a major pullback and capitulation here soon. Is it going to be at 443 or 453 or is it going to be at 460? I do think we are reaching the top around 455, 460 at the absolute highest. But I think right here for this week, we're going to see the top here at 453, topping out about that range and starting to see this pullback, giving us a red weekly candle print. We also have RSI way overbought on the four hour time frame, the daily time frame and the weekly time frame RSI is overbought. So this is what I'm looking at for SPY. I do think we're gonna have a pullback as price is outside of the Bollinger Bands as well. Normally when price stays outside of the bands for this long, it snaps back inside of it very, very hard. We also have multiple gap fills to the downside. So I do think we're gonna get a red candle prediction for SPY, red candle for SPY. Let's go ahead and look at GME stock, GME stock. Again, this prediction is going to shock you. I just got to keep it real with you guys. I think we might see a red weekly candle print on GME. Let me explain why I think we might see red for GME. So GME is set up for more downside and consolidation. Basically, GME needs to hold this level of support. So let's go ahead and show you the level of support and give you the number. 2290. So 2290 needs to be held as support for GME to continue to the upside, getting this bounce and coming up to about $23, $23.50 in that range. If we can break above the sloping resistance marked here in white, we can see upside for GME. 
CME. But if we come up and retest 2335 and get rejected from that level, you're going to see GME come all the way back down to about 22. 15 in that range 2225 2215 somewhere in that range to retest that level as support but this is actually very very bullish for more upside gme is actually in a relative bigger larger pattern here so let's go ahead and show you guys a bigger falling wedge so this falling wedge is using this macro sloping resistance as support which is extremely bullish and we are setting up for a major, major, major rally to the upside if we can break the sloping resistance from this $28 high. So GME is set up for a big move, but first we need to use these levels of support and resistance, making higher lows, higher lows. So we need to see that play out. If GME can hold that $23 level, we can continue to the upside, but the main thing is breaking this bigger falling wedge. When we break this bigger falling wedge, GME is absolutely going to rocket to the upside, but there is major resistance in this level. As you guys can see, we've hit our head on it a few times now, so there's major resistance in that level. So we do need to be careful of that level. We're going to have to consolidate building a very bullish base before breaking out to the upside, breaking that major $30 level. Again, I got to keep it with you guys, let you guys know exactly what's happening. I cannot just tell you it's going to be bullish every single week, especially if the technicals are saying we might need to consolidate. But if we break this major resistance right here, GME is going to absolutely make a major push to about $30. And again, if GME could break that $30 mark, it's going to be absolutely insane. I sound like a broken record every time I say this, but there's little to no support, support and resistance at that level. It's a major support and resistance level. So if we break it, you're going to see a big push to the upside. We also have this gap fill up here at $40. And there's also normally a gamma ramp at about $30 that could push us to $40. And we have a gap fill here. So if we can break that $30 level, it's going to be very, very important. And we're going to see GME start to fly. We also have this major double bottom set up here in this macro falling wedge here. So this macro falling wedge is calling for more upside once we break out of this smaller falling wedge marked on the yellow time frame. That's why I'm saying if we can break out of this smaller falling wedge, you're going to see GME start to fly to the upside. And then we have this double bottom set up with this gap fill all the way from about $40, as you guys can see, coming back down to this $15 level, getting a beautiful bounce, then getting another bounce off that $15 level, and then pushing, curling around, pushing to the upside, which I do think is about to play out with this beautiful double bottom scenario and this falling wedge that we are seeing, and using this macro sloping resistance, which has been resistance for two years at support. I cannot understate how bullish that is for GME stock. So we are setting up very, very nicely for GME. This is a beautiful setup, and I am very, very excited to see what comes in the next couple weeks for GME stock. Again, I do have a relative time for when we're going to see this rally, but I'm only releasing it on Discord as I do not want to give dates here on YouTube, but I do have a relative time for this particular rally but I'm only telling that in my Discord. Let's go ahead and look at AMC. That is what I'm looking at for GME on the bigger and smaller time frames. Again, macro is beautiful, micro is beautiful. We are going to see a push to the upside if we can hold these key levels of support, but we are setting up for a very, very beautiful move, but we might have more downside. And that is why I'm thinking we might have a red week for GME. So I need y'all to be prepared for possible downside and a possible red week for GME. So that's what I'm looking at for GME. I do predict a red candle for GME and a red candle for SPY. So let's go ahead and look at AMC stock. Again, we will revisit all of these predictions at the end of the week and see if they were right and wrong and explain why we will revisit them at the end of the week. And I'll try to keep the receipts on the video next time. That way it's a more concise and clean video. So let's go ahead and get into AMC, AMC stock, showing you guys what is going on with AMC. So surprisingly, this is going to shock a lot of people. And that's why I said this is going to shock you. I think AMC is actually going to have a green week despite all of the bearishness in the market and here let me explain why it is very very unlikely that this is going to happen but i have to go with my gut and based off of the technical analysis what the charts are telling me so i'm going to go ahead and explain why i think amc could potentially see green 
weekly candle print despite all the bearishness and GME basically being the same exact stock. Let's go ahead and show you based off the technicals why I'm thinking we could have more upside for AMC stock. So the first thing I want to point out for AMC stock is this buy signal here on the four hour time frame. As you guys can see, we have a buy signal here on the four hour time frame. These are normally indicated at the bottom of normal push or larger rallies to the upside. You can see when we get this buy signal for the four hour time frame, it indicates larger rallies to the upside for AMC. So I do think we are gonna see a push to the upside. We are also using this macro falling wedge as support. I do think we can come back down to about $4.20, but if we come down to that $4.20 level, what I expect to happen for AMC is a major push to the upside. So if we do come back down and break $4.31, $4.32, if we come down and do not use that as support, we are going to come down to about 420, 415 in that region. But this is a second retest of this larger falling wedge that you guys can see here on this four hour time frame, which would be a bullish retest. And I expect a major bounce off of that level. This wedge is setting us up for a move to about $6.20. You guys can see that we have this uptrend and we go into the falling wedge. A falling wedge is a bullish continuation pattern, letting you know that the uptrend is going to continue. So we have uptrend. And then we're going into another uptrend. Also, they are having a very hard time pushing the stock down at all. They are having a very hard time getting the stock below $4. $4 is a key support and resistance level for us. And we seem to be holding it very, very, very well. So AMC is basically in a pressure cooker type mode right now. We want to squeeze to the upside, but they want to push us to the downside. But we keep holding ourselves up. AMC keeps holding support, but they keep trying to push us down. So it's like a spring. It's going to get compressed, compressed, compressed. And this thing's going to absolutely just explode insane, crazy at any time so we are looking for the judge to make her decision i do think that is a major catalyst that could help but i do think we could see a run to the upside before that even happens i think that this uptrend right here that we see right i'm going to identify it for you guys so you guys can see it here we have a basic uptrend right here i do think this uptrend is going to continue we do have these random wicks these pre-market wicks um in after hours so we do have that uh, I'm not counting those wicks, but as you guys can see, we do have this uptrend and I do think this uptrend is going to continue. We have this buy signal and we have this macro falling wedge set up. So I do think we're going to get a green, uh, candle print weekly candle print for G or a M C stock. We also have the Bollinger bands constricting here on the daily time frame. As you guys can see, Bollinger bands constricting on the daily time frame. That's letting us know that major volatility is coming for the stock that's either going to be a big push to the up or down side. I'm using technicals to determine that it's probably going to be to the upside. As you guys can see here on the four hour time frame as well, we have Bollinger Bands constricting, indicating a major move as well. I do think we're about to see a good push to the upside based off of the technicals that I'm seeing. We also have fundamental data right here, letting us know that there is about to be a major rally for AMC stock because short interest is at 28.80%. So this is the highest we ever seen AMC short interest, 28.80%. This is the highest that ever the official, official reported short interest, the official reported short interest has ever been. Normally when short interest gets above 24 to 25%, you see it a rally and then short interest will come back down to about 20 18 19 percent so i think we're going to see a rally we're going to see short positions these newer short positions that boosted this uh short interest so high i think we're going to see them start to cover and you'll see short interest go down to about 20 21 percent but the thing about that is amc is in such a pressure cooker mode that if we start to run up we are absolutely going to take off. They do not want us above $4.50 right now. They don't even want us at $5. If we get to that $5 level, there's normally a gamma ramp that can push us even higher. Also, major support and resistance that will push us even higher. And shorts start to really feel the pressure when AMC gets to five, six, seven, and 8 dollars when we get to those levels next time i do think we're absolutely going to blast off the next time we come up to retest this eight dollar level i think we're going to break through it and blast to the upside i literally think we are close to the end again i have a date that i'm putting out on discord within a week when i think we are going to see this rally but i'm not going to give dates here on youtube because some people 
get offended by that. But this is what I'm looking at for AMC. We also have cost to borrow as well. We have cost to borrow staying at an elevated rate. This is very, very important. This makes it harder for them to get short shares to short us down. Also, this puts a lot of pressure on the shorts as they have to pay 977% to start a new short position. You can see that short interest is at 974%, and that's how much they have to pay just to start a new short position. This puts a ton of pressure on the shorts, and this is bullish for us. And I do think we're going to see a rally as last time we seen short interest get this high. We seen a rally to eight dollars. I do think we have an imminent rally coming for AMC stock. More indications that we are going to see bullishness in the future for AMC stock. More reasons why I do think we're going to get a green candle print. So this is what I'm looking at for AMC based off the technicals and fundamentals. Again, your weekly candle prediction and update for SPY was a red candle. I do think SPY is going to get a red candle. I think GME is going to get a red candle. I think AMC is going to print a green candle. This is for the weekly candle. So we will re revisit this at the end of the week on the weekend. I will revisit this. I'll try to put the receipts in the video so you guys can see. I'll clip them and put them in there and we will see how accurate i was again i was accurate on last week's prediction as i called green for all three and we had green for all three this was the video and hopefully you found it informative if you did go ahead and drop a like you can subscribe for more content like this you can check me out on discord and twitter for even more data zero updates my twitter's linked down below and my instagram is linked down below if you want to get into the discord it is fifty dollars you can just hit me up on twitter or instagram i talk about my stocks cryptos trades and i have a great community there as well so you can check us out if you want it's fifty dollars for a life time invite and i drop trade hints all types of stuff technical analysis everything on my discord and 24 7 updates so check that out if you want 50 dollars for a lifetime invite i'm also working on my trading class and hopefully will be available sometime at the end of this week coming up i'm hoping for monday but it looks like it's going to be later in the week but i will make an announcement on the channel as soon as it is ready i already have the website up and running so if you want to learn about it you can go ahead and check out the website you can also ask me questions if you're in the discord anything you guys want to know i will tell you about it but i'm showing you guys how i make these accurate calls and predictions so you can do it for yourself making some money hopefully changing your lives again that trading class will be available shortly i'll make an announcement on the channel when it is that is the video if you want to support me for free simply drop a like leave a comment i appreciate each and every one of you that do so and i appreciate each and every one of you that watch the end of this video to see this message as always have fun stay safe make money Peace out. All right, yeah, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe for more content like this. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero update. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you that watched this video. Leave a comment and drop a like and that subscribe. As always, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out.